What up? Welcome to another video on the YouTube channel. So today it's gonna be kind of a different thing, an experiment. I'm gonna talk to you just for about maybe two minutes about this deck and then you're gonna throw you right into some gameplay of this deck so you can get an idea. Uh, this is a deck that I saw on ladder and then I saw get a second place finish in the Hooglandia tournament. I changed a couple of cards, added a few things, but basically I'm gonna give you kind of the big picture idea of what this deck is trying to do and not go in deep as I did in the last deck tech with card by card thing. A, because I didn't build this deck and I don't uh, feel I have that experience, and B, I think it might be uh, a little more helpful just to kind of give like a big overarching picture and not dive too deep, and then maybe some gameplay will help. So comment below if you like this style of video, if you like the other one, maybe you like both and we can just figure out a way to make them both happen, uh, but I kind of like the idea of doing this. So basically this is a hyper synergy deck, it's trying to synergize using spells that give us incidental advantage and then using a pyromancer with those spells as a way to like kind of go over the top right so you have innocent blood and village rights in that sort of sense and you have thought seeds to help there and then you have things like dreadhold arcanist to replay them and then we have some sacrifice effect cards like priest of forgotten gods to capitalize on things like young pyromancer and then we have croxa as a way to kind of we can go through a lot of our deck and then we need some sort of late game play and croxa is our take over the game late game engine um, and then we have things like Claim the Firstborn to rebuy our pieces and give them haste and activate them immediate, immediately. And then the thing that I think really helps this deck uh, stick together is the Thought Seize plus Dreadhorde Arcanist. Any matchup that's bad, outside of probably Burn, because Burn can be, uh, Mono Red can be kind of tough, but if you have Thought Seize and Dreadhorde Arcanist draw against basically every other deck, uh, you can actually find a way to win. If your opponent, you know, unfortunately has to mulligan to six or maybe they kept a seven that really relies on having an elvish rejuvenator then you can rip their hand apart with that combination of cards and then we have the all powerful Loras, and our deck's actually pretty good at making land drops and having mana laying around so i have it's quite easy to get a Loras into play and then you know start rebuying your croxes in order to kind of ravens crime them and you know make them lose cards and take a little bit of damage or buy back the pieces that you sacrificed to the priest and that all sort of thing and really the deck felt like a modern deck when i was playing it not quite in power level but in the way that all the pieces work together and really synergy driven it, it isn't a great example but it reminded me a lot of how when i was playing uh oko urza back in modern near the end of its life how all my pieces really worked well together and there's a lot of cool little synergies and niches and things you can do and i've loved playing this deck and so i wanted to record a video and show it to y'all not as in depth as our last one but you're going to see some gameplay starting probably right about now so make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already liked the video let me know what you thought about this sort of thing below let me know if you think you'd like to see more gameplay kind of stuff i'm down for all of it i, I enjoy all that sort of stuff and really it's going to be about me honing my craft and giving you all what you want as well so thank you so much for hanging out today and i hope you enjoy the rest of the video